Okay, this kind of looks like this season four of True Detective, but I don't want to... Is this region? I can't tell if this is Norwegian or Swedish or whatever. Hmm. I've never heard of this show. Oh, this this one. <laughs> yeah, this is... Does that deserve a rant? I'd like to rant about this, but I've never actually seen it. <laughs> so... I don't know why there would be like the Rus the Russian princess Anastasia. Um, the problem with the Russian princess Anastasia is that she wasn't like a very sympathetic person in real life. She wasn't an actual like Disney princess person. So a lot of people had a real problem with you know it's the story of the magical princess Anastasia and her when the shadow of revolution falls across Russia. So not a lot of people really like that one. So I think it's, I don't, I want to do a rant, but it's kind of too over the heads of people. What in the world is the wolf <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't have consigliaries in, in England, sorry. <laughs> consigliaries were in Italy, wrong country. <laughs> Was Cromwell? Hold on a minute. Hold on, I actually have to look this up. <laughs> Thomas Cromwell. Okay, I got I got Thomas Cromwell and Oliver Cromwell mixed up because I thought they were actually like mix, mixing up two different history periods here. No, nope, it's basically another one about Henry VIII and, and, and his mistresses and his wives. People love making um, documentaries or, and movies and stuff about Henry VIII because even though he lived in like the 1600s, he was kind of like a modern celebrity king. So people are like, ooh, I want to do another one. Pretty funny show, but... Uh, Go head to head. Yeah. Andy Samberg is pretty funny in this. Not that bad. Pretty good. Is this the first one or the second one? Oh no, this is the. <coughs> okay, they made two Haunted Mansion movies. And. What year was this? Yeah, this is the last year Haunted Mansion movie. They made two Haunted Mansion movies, and nobody cared about either of them. I actually saw the first one because I thought it was going to be as good as Pirates of the Caribbean. It wasn't good at all, but it doesn't deserve a rant because it's just a boring Disney movie. So, here's the thing about this, about one of these planes. I don't know if... The, one of the planes is Canadian, but in all the other countries, she is another nationality. And that's basically the only thing about this movie that's in any way important. Because no one has ever explained why the planes and the trucks and the cars and the boats and the other things that go have faces. Why do they talk? Why are they alive? And it's pretty much the same story as the original Cars because... In the original Cars, Lightning McQueen isn't going to be a racer anymore. So this is the same thing with Dusty, the aerial racer. Yeah. It's another Stephen King movie. I don't really think there have been that many good Stephen King movies, but people really swear by him. A lot of people really like his stuff. I'm like, eh, I don't care. The Shining is only good because Stanley Kubrick directed it. When Stephen King did his own version of The Shining, they had him be like a ghostly conductor of an orchestra or something. Another, yeah. And again, people just love Hercule, Hercule Poirot movies, and I never got why. I just, I don't get, I don't get it. Like, can you take a guy with this mustache seriously? No. <laughs> I don't know why they insist on keeping the mustache. 
Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah, good old Cinderella. Yeah, but in French, it's Cinderella. That's what your name is in French. Cinderella, you Cinderella. White and gay, it's Cinderella. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Wait, is that Ryan Reynolds again? No, it's Ethan Hawke. Okay. Okay, this is from last week. Okay. CGI Rugrats can, uh, you know, like I, I prefer the original one, but there's nothing wrong with CGI Rugrats. At least they're not all grown up. That was pretty cringe. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do a uh, a rant on this because because I, this when this came out, I don't know if you remember, but everybody was talking about it. Mm. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do. You know what we're going to do? We're going to watch... I'm going to bring up the DVD... I'm going to bring up the, the, the YouTube video of the scene where the Fleerkins are eating everybody. And you're going to read all of the positive comments about how everybody loved that scene. And how it was so over the top. That's what we're going to do today. I mean it. Like, we're going we're gonna to do it. And we're going to record your reactions. Because... Oh, boy. After having, it, having to sit through this... There are people who thought the Marvels was great. And look, there are all the Fleerkins. And look, they're they're peeking through the crowds, isn't it? And this is Darben. She spends the whole the whole movie doing it. Look at the expression she's got. That's her expression. <laughs> look, everybody. I don't know if you can see it, but that's Darben's expression. One facial expression through the whole movie. And she's married to Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't understand why you keep bringing that up because it's just getting stupid at this point. <laughs> An Inspector Banks mystery. Am I supposed to know who Inspector Banks is? <laughs> this is the again. This is the problem with the BBCs. You only know about this stuff if you're a regular BBC watcher, and people are like, "Oh, Inspector Banks, who?" Do you know who Inspector Banks is supposed to be? Nope. You only know this stuff if you watch. And what's this? I've never heard of any of these people. Is this a Canadian movie? Yeah. Never heard of this. Mm. Oh, yeah. Adam Sandler is a vampire. No, Adam Sandler did not voice Drac in this. What? What happened? How did he not? How? I don't understand. That's, that's crazy to me. I can't believe they had a movie that Adam Sandler turned down. I, I can't believe Adam Sandler's not in this one. Are any of these any good? Like, you saw this one, right? Yes, I did, and it was good. Oh, okay. Huh. And now, time for a good surprise. All right, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, yeah, I'll get all the Kitchener DVDs in the back. Yep.
I tried to watch Unfriended, but it had no commentary, and it. I didn't want to watch it without the commentary. Right. Okay. Now, uh, where is uh, where is Skinnamarink? You said you were gonna give it to me. Oh yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Oh. Skinnamarink, everyone, is right here. Ah, good. Okay. We'll talk. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get to Riverside Park. And just a reminder: you've seen it, and I haven't. And I've intentionally not seen it. Yeah, because I tried to send Josh a, a link of him to watch a video talking about Skinnamarink, but he. Yeah. How I far? Didn't... How far did you get in that video before you stopped? I didn't watch it. I don't want to see things analyzing a movie I haven't watched, especially not this one. Are you gonna bring those back to the? library now what'd you think of my hole it's a pretty good one and now i, I think if it's I, i've kind of like i see a lot of the same sort of things like here's a british thing so i'm gonna say the same thing about it <clears throat> there's not a lot of them that are gonna make me go oh because we've kind of like talked about movies for two years right now so if i see something i'm gonna react to it and i don't want but, to talk about turning red because everyone has talked that movie to death and obviously, we're not talking about the Marvels. No, we're not talking about the Marvels. We are going to look at some YouTube comments. Ugh, great. Now, now it's my turn to be suffered. I mean, I I I watched the movie and you didn't, so I'll just bring up the YouTube video of the Flirkins being eating people while Barbara Streisand's memory from Cats plays. And I just want you to scroll through the. Uh, through the comments and just read a, a few of them. I'm probably going to be driving or something. Or maybe we can do it while we're walking around at the at the park. You can see it on my phone. I'm going to have it pause. Because last time we went to the park, I did that humiliating uh, Marvel's dance. <laughs> oh, my. But remember, I didn't get to see the first part of the dance because it was facing, the camera was facing me. Oh, okay. So you might have to redo that dance. Well, I'll take a look at the video again, just so I can get a clear <laughs> idea of what it looked like, because I've kind of sort of blocked it out. I couldn't believe what I was seeing the first time around. Yeah, thanks thanks for sending me the, the singing and dancing on my phone. Did you see it? Did you watch it? As soon as I saw what it was, I just said, ugh. Okay. 